you're welcome i'm samuel also here and in this particular tutorial video i are going to design this very beautiful birthday flyer that you are seeing yeah this very beautiful as you can see it's looking more beautiful and stunning you know so that's the design that we are going to replicate you know so let's start before we start if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe to this channel turn on the post notification bell and if you are old member to here you welcome once again do so if you have not done if subscribe turn on the post notification bell right so guys let's start with our design let me open my page lab i'm going to reveal the secret to you i want you to follow attentively because this particular design there's a lot that we are going to learn here how to um edit the background and a whole lot so follow attentively as i'm starting right so let's delay this particular default test and come to the background to here this background layer here so that we can upload our background from gallery tap on from gallery so this is the background that we are going to use right so tap on the check mark here so we have the background here as i always do i'm going to edit the background when i mean by edit i'm going to increase the brightness the contrast and the heat of the background to get the actual effects i want i get to me so i'll come here then i'll tap there that's where you can edit the background so you will see hue contrast and saturation here and brightness here too you see so i will first reduce the brightness to minus 10 right and tap on the check mark and count contrast no let me come to contrast and increase the contrast to 12 right like this and let me come to hue come to hue and increase the hue to minus 10 all right so no 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 right so we have the hue like this i hope you have seen the changes here it's looking more attractive and stunning that's how i want the background to be so i'll tap on the check mark here so now let's upload the images that we are going to use i will come to this image right here this image to here and import from my gallery so i'll import the first image here is the image i'm going to import i'll give the image to you in the description check it out so i will increase the size of the image like this now i will increase the effect i mean i'll edit the image small with the color filters so i'll come to color filters and increase the saturation the brightness and the contrast of the image i will reduce the hue to minus oh sorry i will reduce the hue to minus one right and the contrast the saturation to 16 right saturation to somewhere 16 the brightness to 2 and the contrast to 38 right so i hope you have seen the image looking more beautiful attractive now yeah that's how i all always edit my images so i'll tap on the check mark here i'm going to bring another image the same image of the same the image of the same person right but this one looks different it's another image but from the same person right so i will come to right so instead of uploading the image then i will also edit it i will also um retouch it i will just come here and copy the image then i will reselect it so that i will not retouch with the, the second image i'm going to upload it's a secret i'm showing you so that i will not go back and retouch the image once i copy it and upload the image the effect is going to appear on the second image too so that i don't have to retouch it and work on it again right so i'll copy the image right and i will reselect it tap on reselect so that it will send it to my gallery and reselect the image right so i will select this particular image let me crop it small right so once you are done i will tap on the check mark here so you have seen that the image is retired the contrast the hue and the saturation has been automatically um been increased everything is on point as i want so i will increase the image size right so i'll increase the image size and place it somewhere here position this one here 
let me increase i told you guys in the recent tutorial on how to design a professional church fire that whenever you are using two or more images make sure that the head of the images are equal so that you have the good you have a good design right so i'll position this one here let me position this one here all right and position this one to here let me lock both of them but then let me i'll bring a third image of the same person yeah i'll, I'll bring a third image so i'll copy the image and reselect it as i did with the second one so i'll tap on reselect and bring it me to my gallery choose this particular all right so i'll choose this particular image and i'll edit it small so i'll tap i'll crop it like this and tap on the check mark all right so i'll increase the size of it and position it somewhere here let me check from here so let me lock this one and move this one to the top a bit come to position position this one to the top all right let me position this one to here okay so like this let me see. okay and this one here but i'll bring this one in between the two images like this so that it will be somewhere here all right so let me come to relative size and increase the weight of it as you can see so i'll position this one here like this right so after this i'll lock all the images all right let me lock them lock the images then i will come to my imports and import some flower image here this flower image here so i'll tap on the check mark here and bring it here right so i'm going to increase the hue and the saturation of the this flower image so i'll come to color filters then increase reduce the hue to minus 18 saturation to minus 5 and brightness to 3 all right so i'll get the actual effects i want so the contrast 2 to minus to 12 sorry so i'll position it here i'll position it here let me go to relative size and see the size of the flower so the flower should be somewhere okay let me let it be like this okay so i'll copy the same flower image and position it here all right let me okay 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 let me bring the image the image that we are working the flyer so that we can see how it is going right so up okay so let me bring move this image to the top a bit okay so that the watch can show okay so position it well like this after that let's copy the same flower image reduce it and bring it to the back of this particular image position it here and bring to back as you can see okay okay let's lock these flower images okay so right let's work on this one here let's bring it to front and increase the size bring it to back let it be here let's see it from this design okay guys so that's it move it here okay so let's lock this particular one let's lock it so after this we are going to do our writings we are going to write happy birthday so come to test edit and let's write happy we will first write a happy 
bring it here come to font we are using this particular font so i'll choose this particular font there are space italic demo so i'll choose that font and position it here let me increase the size of it come to size and increase the size of it to where is the size increase the size 34 is okay right 34 is okay let's copy the same font and edit it and write the birthday right position the birthday here increase the size let's increase the size of it to 51 it's not bad so position it like this all right so let's inc make it happy birthday like this now let's write the person's name the name of the random name any random name yeah miss veronica so you position it here and we change the font we are going to use this stylish font photograph i recently use it where is it okay let me search it photograph all right so here is it i will use it and increase the size like this so i have it here let me see from the design itself so guys we are almost done we are almost done it's very simple so let's write some well wishes quotes birthday well wishes quotes so for it all right so we have it here let's reduce the size and change the font to montserrat medium montserrat medium here okay let's reduce this letter spacing the line spacing sorry reduce the line spacing to minus seven is not bad and position it here right so we have it here we are almost done let's write another happy birthday test another happy birthday in capitals happy birthday so guys that's how i did it it's very simple all what you have to do is know how to arrange the image and know how to work on the image and the background and you are good to go out for the writing you guys know the fonts to use i know you have guys have learned that so it's not something difficult so let's increase the spacing the letter spacing of the happy birthday okay happy birthday but i think i use this font for the first one where is it montserrat alternate lights montserrat alternate light this first one or oh, let me use the one i just used reduce the opacity let's reduce the opacity of the where is opacity so if you have not subscribed to this channel do yourself a favor and subscribe now and turn on the post notification bell that's what we do here we provide step by step tutorial on how to design various kinds of flyers from birthday flyers flyers to any flyer yeah so let me position this in the middle okay so i i edited no okay so let's come here come to the middle to the image two and come to stickers once you come to stickers this will automatically pop up you will see this automatically here right so all what we are going to do is don't tap on the check mark once you tap on the sticker don't tap on the check mark we want to use this particular um i don't know if it's a blending to the uh, image or yeah image like that a lighting image or something like that so don't blend the image don't tap on the sticker just do something after leave it there and do something so after that you can assess it right so that's the secret if you tap if you tap on it on the check mark it won't appear anymore so i have it here it's just a transparent distance but there's a white effect here so i'll place it here right and i'll copy it again and place it here too just to give it some effect on the image right i need that i want that effect here so guys 
we are done that's how i did this it's very simple and it's looking beautiful you can replicate this procedure to get the actual design like this or you can use another images i want you guys to be creative know how to arrange the images and know how to edit them and position the test everything is aligned it's looking more beautiful so thank you for following please kindly subscribe to this channel turn on the post notification bell see you in another upload See you guys.